Good morning everyone, welcome back to a brand new vlog. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am in Antwerp. Me and Jack arrived last night at, I think it was like half 11. We left home at about seven o'clock and it's an hour ahead. So the journey was so quick. We drove and got on the Eurotunnel for half an hour and then it was like, what was it, an hour and? Hour and a half. Hour and a half from Calais to Antwerp to the hotel which was amazing. It was literally the quickest and easiest journey I've done in ages. So it definitely beats going to the airport. Um, I'm so excited to explore Antwerp, I cannot wait. I actually booked this hotel for Jack's birthday in lockdown as a surprise. Do you remember that? No. I don't think I told you. <laughs> um, and because of the restrictions, we couldn't come, so I had to cancel it. So I've wanted to come here for ages. And my manager actually came here few months ago and said you have to come you'll love it so yeah we are here we're staying in august which is so beautiful i'll try and take you around the hotel and show you the interiors because honestly it is my dream hotel it's so pretty um so yeah we got back last night i unpacked and we literally just went to sleep and then this morning i actually woke up at six o'clock this time five o'clock at home and I sat for like three hours writing an itinerary for the day and for tomorrow and making reservations and researching um, restaurants and stuff like that because I hadn't really done it um, before. Usually I tried to do all of that before but I hadn't. So yeah, now I feel a bit more familiar with the town and like where things are and all the locations and things like that. So yeah, I'm very excited to take you around. It is currently 11 o'clock, it's quite late. We, well, I didn't have a line, but Jack did. And we've just been chilling in the room and we're gonna go out now and get some breakfast, coffee. Um, and then, yeah, go for a nice lunch later. We haven't got dinner till nine o'clock, so um, we can have a bit of a later lunch. So yeah, I'm very excited. Today I'm wearing this linen shirt from Zara, which is really old, and also these crochet, um, shorts which are also from Zara and they are also quite old so that's annoying but I will try and link similar things down below and if you haven't already go and watch my um outfits in Antwerp video because I'll show you like everything I'm wearing and all the outfits styled up and stuff like that so yeah I've also got on my new June sandals today so let's hope they don't rub I have got some blister plasters so I'm going to bring them with me just in case but I'm going to give you a quick tour of the room although it's probably a bit of a mess so sorry about that um but it's so beautiful okay so i'm just at the door which by the way the door is so beautiful look how lovely and panelled that door is and it's so high the ceilings are so so high in here um we looked it up and it used to be an old um military hospital and the nuns stayed in this section of the buildings which is very cool um, so yeah, you come in very, just everything is so aesthetic, massive, massive bed. And then as you come around here, there is a little TV seating area. The bed is so huge and it was so comfortable. I slept really well last night. And then here is like the little tea and coffee section. Dressing gowns and slippers. The slippers and the dressing gowns are so soft. Probably like the best um, hotel slippers I've ever had and they've got mini ones for me and big ones for Jack which is perfect. I also love this um, bedside table and the lamp and just oh, everything. Then there's this little seating area here which Jack's sitting on the chair. Um, again so lovely like marble table, really nice lamp. Here is the wardrobe which is quite interesting, opens like a little folding door, quite a good idea actually. Um, so I unpacked last night and just put all of our clothes in here. A little bit of a mess, but it'll be fine. And then in here is the bathroom, which is so lovely and bright. Massive shower in here. Oh, I, I ironed all of our clothes and folded them so carefully in the suitcase. And now these two pieces are so creased. So I'm hanging them up in here to see if when we have a shower it will decrease them. Yeah, lovely mirror. Really, really nice lighting in the mirror. I just sat and did my makeup there this morning. And then the sink, which is very messy, but the Labo products, which is gorgeous. And such a nice view out of the window. How beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna head out now and I will catch up with you at some point along the way. I also love Jack's outfit today. 
He is wearing Reese top. Where are those trousers from? Um, I can't remember actually. They're really nice. And then where are your shoes from? Reese. Reese. Reese Ambassador. Okay, we've just come to this little like square area. Um, I'll leave all the names of everything down below. But we've come to this little cafe. I've got a chai latte and we've just ordered some toasties as well. are literally so weird to cross because there's trams, there's bike lanes, there's like all sorts going on. Um, but yeah, oh my god, they've got Philippa K. Well, it looks nice down there. Are we going down there? Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm loving it so far. We just got the tram, it was so easy. But if you do get the tram, you have to... So we asked the lady in the cafe what we would have to do. And they said she said that we had to buy a ticket, so... We bought a ticket on the website, we found. Um, but then when we got the tram, it said that you could do like contactless and everyone was touching their cards on the tram. So I'm guessing you can do that. So we're gonna try that later. But we are just walking from, what was that place called? Gooster Plants. I'm gonna butcher all the names, so I really apologize. Um, and we are now, oh, there's an Aesop. We're now walking to Klusterstrat which Amy recommended us to go to because it's got loads of really amazing like interior shops and stuff but oh my god it's just so nice here it's really um giving me like Parisian but a bit more cool like, a bit more edgy oh I love that we should have gone there for breakfast that's such a nice cafe um so yeah I'm gonna bring you along and try and show you like all the interior shops and stuff but oh my god look at these boutiques they are so pretty Love, I love it all, I love it all. So yeah, we're gonna have a little wander around for a while and then we're gonna go to a place for lunch later that I've written on my notes. Um, so I'll take you there as well, obviously. But I love the tram, it's great. Also, it was so cheap, I can't believe how cheap it was. You're looking lovely today, my love. Thank you. I love this outfit, fabulous. Okay, we've just come to Studio Hank, which Amy said we had to come to. Oh my God, this is literally like my heaven. When I die, this is what my heaven is gonna look like. Oh my God, how nice is that? This is literally unreal. I don't like beer. Taste it. Let's try it. It's such beer pressure. Oh, it's Do you know what that smell reminds me of when I first met you? What a stick. No, that smell of fear. Ugh, that's horrible. I have my own one. Such bad lighting. Look at my hair. It looks cheap. Why is it like that? I, I think know, it looks fine. Something's happened to my fringe this morning. I it must looks have fine. slept. It's just the camera making it look fine. That's better. Okay guys, we... Oh, the sun's out now. We, um... Oh, it's actually blue stuff. We looked around, um, Klusterstrat, and it was so amazing, but we literally were, like, in and out of antique shops, so I didn't really vlog much, um, but I did show you in Studio... Oh, what's that called? Hens? Hank. Studio Hank. Oh, the sun. Um, which was so cool. Like, literally amazing. I loved it there. And we've now come to Hotel Pilar, and they've got a really gorgeous little, um, like outside terrace bit. I saw this on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and I saved it and it's so pretty. And it's great because there's a massive load of building work going on so Jack can sit and watch the diggers. <laughs> but I've got a rose and Jack's got a beer. How cute is that branding? Lovely. And now the sun's out, it started raining so we kind of stopped looking in shops and headed over here for a drink. So yeah, lovely.
Okay, we've just ordered like a little bit of... They're like fish croquettes. Yeah, they're shrimp. Do you not like them? You do? Yeah. Um, we've just ordered a few little snacks for lunch. And we've got some compt with some little crackers, some chips, and some shrimp croquettes, which Jack doesn't like fish, and he just ate them. And I didn't tell you they were shrimp, so sorry. <laughs> what did you tell me? Sorry, I forgot. Delicious. Okay, we are back in the hotel. It's actually a few hours later. This lighting's making me look very wild. Um, we actually just caught up on Love Island and just chilled in the bed. You know, we just need like a little bit of time when you've been walking around all day. Um, so we did that and we are just getting ready for some drinks and then we are for dinner. Um, and I was gonna wear my, it's a bit like, it's not super sunny. So I was gonna wear my slip skirt and do that as like an evening outfit but i have just decided the reason i was going to wear that is because i felt too overdressed in this black dress this one which i absolutely love but i've just thought do you know what who cares so i don't know any of these people if they think i look overdressed then they look underdressed so i'm gonna wear the black dress and who cares i love it it's so gorgeous it's from zara but it's actually quite old i got it when did i get it maybe like three weeks ago so i don't know if they'll still have it in stock um i haven't worn it yet so i'm excited to wear it um just these bits are a little bit big but i need to take the tag out because i haven't worn it yet but i love it it's like a little mini dress don't know if you can see this bit is a bit annoying it's quite gapy but i think it's fine i'm just gonna let the dress do its thing and i need to sort my hair out it looks a mess and we'll go for some drinks i think we're gonna have drinks in the hotel bar downstairs for like a little bit and dinner's at nine o'clock so what's the time now 20 past six. Oh, perfect so we've got a good few hours for some drinks and then dinner which i'm very excited about and i think i'm gonna have the truffle pasta um, but i'll take you along to the restaurant anyway i've just come down to the bar in the hotel for a drink it is so nice in here i absolutely love this hotel how beautiful just like all the little corners and the panelling and the marble. It is just all amazing. <laughs> so pretty. Something's wrong with the focus on my camera. I'll take you looking for it. <laughs> dried my hair um and just like restyled it i've done it with the um smaller dyson barrel you would have just seen because i filmed a time lapse so that it's like quite curly and got so much volume at the bottom and i'm just going to leave that to kind of like drop throughout the day so i'm just going to do my makeup and i thought i would just chat with you a little bit while i do my makeup for the day we're gonna go out this morning i look quite puffy and tired because we actually didn't go to sleep till like i think it must have been like one o'clock um but we had such a good dinner last night we went to fiera um which i would have shown you a few clips of and honestly i think it was the nicest restaurant i've been to on holiday in so long it was really feeling like a restaurant in London because it had such um, good music, like it was really good vibes, there was a good bar in there, um, the food was so good, I had, um, we had like some, um, what's the name of that lamb that we had Jack, I can't remember, oh, you 
you know what I mean? We had like a lamb thing to start, which was amazing. We also had some bread and then we both had the mushroom truffle and parmesan papadelli um, pasta, which was so delicious. Oh my God, it was probably the best pasta I've had in ages. It was so nice. Um, yeah, and we had some rosé and we just had a really nice time. What I really liked about the restaurant actually was the service was really nicely spread out. We didn't have huge gaps between our food, so we weren't waiting for ages hungry, but we also weren't kind of eating our starter and as soon as we finished, we're having our mains and I hate that. So we had a really nice long dinner, which was so lovely. Um, we sat at a really nice table in the corner. It's like white tablecloths, but then it's like fine dining, but really cool music as well. So yeah, it was amazing. I couldn't recommend it enough if you come to Antwerp. I know a few of you have messaged me on like, Instagram and TikTok and stuff and said, would I recommend coming? And I really, really would. I mean, we've only been here for like a day, um, but already I feel like we've done so much. We've also been getting the tram um, because uh, when we were trying to get home yesterday, we figured out that... Actually, no, we were trying to get into the main town. And we realised that there aren't really that many Ubers. There's only like one or two Ubers in the town. I don't know if it's always like that, but at the moment it is. So we were kind of a bit stuck of how to like get everywhere. Because we couldn't really get an Uber. And so we decided to get the tram after figuring it out because it was quite confusing um it's so much easier and quicker and you literally get straight to where you want to go without getting stuck in any traffic or waiting um there's also oh sorry <laughs> there's also um literally like no wait time between trams they come like every five to ten minutes so that's also really good um but actually yesterday because i didn't really want to get the tram to go out for dinner because i'm obviously wearing heels and i have a small dress and i just i didn't really want to do that um, and we knew we'd be coming back late. So we looked online and Jack found a taxi service that was amazing. So I will leave everything, like restaurants and recommendations and any tips and stuff. I will leave it all down below in the description so that you can, if you do want to go to Antwerp, then you can um, come back to this video and save or screenshot the description if you want to. Um, but yeah, the taxi service is amazing. It's really kind of like inexpensive, same price as I would say Ubers. Um, but they're really nice cars, which is obviously lovely. They're really nice people, um, just amazing, really good. There were so many cars around, so we literally only waited for like, I think the longest we've waited is like five, six minutes, which is amazing. So, yeah, that was last night. I had such a good time. Today, it's a little bit later because we went to bed so late. Um, I just let Jack stay asleep for ages. So it, I think it's like quarter past 10 now. Um, I'm hoping we can go out for like 11, but I don't know if Jack will be ready for them. Um, and we're gonna go and get a coffee and some breakfast, maybe like a pastry. I really want a cinnamon bun. Um, so we're gonna go to a little cafe that I found. Um, literally like three minute walk away and yesterday we really struggled to find somewhere because we walked to this area that I thought was nice but it's actually like more of a kind of young like evening drinks outside vibe um, so that wasn't very successful in finding any bakeries but this one looks really good and they do iced coffees and although I don't really drink coffee I might get one so I'm just gonna finish doing my makeup I'm nearly done I'm actually gonna do an in-depth get ready with me next week so I know loads of you guys have been asking me what makeup I'm using um, and I've got loads of new products to share with you so I'm gonna do that next week and go through like all the products and everything um, and then hopefully we will head out soon okay we are now in like the main town um, kind of where all the main shops are and everything we're just wandering around um, we're gonna try and go somewhere for lunch, but all the places just look so pretty. Like, how nice does that look? Um, also, it's so nice and warm. We, we sat and had. Are you cringing? Oh. <laughs> we sat and had um, lunch in. Not lunch, what are we talking about? We had breakfast this morning at a place called Cafe Nation, but we got a takeaway because there weren't any seats. And we had a cinnamon bun, which was delicious, and iced coffee, 
and then um, we took it to our hotel and sat in like the little terrace which was so nice but yeah it's such a nice day it's really warm so Jack's got his shorts on today lovely outfit I'm wearing my slip skirt and I just want my blazer on my shoulders for now but it's actually really hot so I think we are gonna wander around a bit maybe get a um, get a drink have some nice lunch sit in the sun I want to have like a nice long lunch and some wine what do you think I think it's fine yeah thank you for that input <laughs> so yeah I'll catch up with you when we find somewhere for lunch okay we've just come to this little kind of square area um, it's so cute, it really reminds me of Barcelona and I have got a chicken Caesar salad and some chips Jack's gone for the burger, it looks so nice Aperol spritz, Jack's got a beer and yeah, it's just lovely Hello everyone I haven't spoken to you for a while I think the last time I spoke to you was when we were in uh, like the main town but it's now like, what's the time? Half eight? Yeah, half eight We have come to a place called Dagarad, Dagarad. Um, it's like a little square and it's so cute. There's loads of restaurants here and like pubs and it's just quite chilled. So we've come here for some food and I have got the salmon poke bowl and Jack's got a steak and it's just so like lovely and chilled. We've got apple spritz. This is like the vibes. The restaurant is called Brasserie Grand Cafe. It's just so lovely. Like everyone's sat eating, there's a little playground, it's just so nice. So I'm gonna enjoy my salmon oogie bowl. That looks like Italy. Hello everyone, I haven't vlogged at all today. Um, but we left the hotel this morning and we drove over. <laughs> Is there? <laughs> I can't see it. We drove over to Bruges, which was an hour and a half. An hour and a ten minutes. An hour and a ten minutes. I slept for basically the whole journey. Um, and yeah, we've just spent the day here. It's been so nice. We've just been wandering around. We've just had some lunch. As you would have seen on my previous clips, we sat like right next to this. What is this? Uh, sewage rocks. <laughs> River? Yeah, is it? River? River. There's loads of little um, boats Please. going past. <laughs> but it's so nice. It's really nice. It's very. We've been here before, but what did you say? Five years ago? Five years ago. February. 17. February 2015. 17. 17. 2017? Yeah. But we met in 2015. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, seven years this year, yeah. Um, yeah, but we have come to this really nice restaurant. It's called Augusto, I think. I've done some clips of like the restaurants so you would have seen. <coughs> it's lovely, it's very peaceful and quiet. And we had a drink in town, the main town earlier, which is really nice, but it was just a bit hectic. So yeah, we just had some pasta, which was lovely. And we are now going to finish our wine and then go into the town again and get some chocolate and bits and bobs and then get in the car and go home. It's so much easier getting... Why are you laughing? It's so much easier driving than getting a flight because you don't have to think about like, oh we've got to go to the airport three hours early, whatever. No, you just literally get in your car and drive and you're home. So we should be home by eight o'clock. So that's good. Early night on a Sunday. But I think I'll add the vlog here because I haven't really got much else to show Just you. Just tell them there's no actual poos in the river. Jack said there aren't any poos in the river. It doesn't smell either. <laughs> and it doesn't smell. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching, as always. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.